it's weird to make a law like that. Like, what are you saying? You're you're saying that young kids can have sex legally? Is that what you're saying? Like, I don't know what you're saying there. Because, like, if they're saying that, you know, it shouldn't be a crime for 17-year-olds to have sex with each other. Okay. I, I agree with that. But if you're saying other people can have sex with them, like, I think 18 is a good number. 18 is a good number. It's a good legal, especially for men. It's a good legal cutoff number. When you start, if, if they're saying that you should be able to have sex with people who are minors, I would imagine it would be like way more laid out than that. Which is kind of, the, which is basically what they're saying is that the capacity for anyone under the age of 18. To make their own decisions. Right. To, to provide consent. And, yeah. and that's where it just like, you know, you get into the whole power dynamic again of teachers and students right. or boss, you know, I mean, not actually not yeah. bosses, but people who are in positions of authority or power, how, how, how you know, okay, yeah. How, how does a 10 year old or a 12 year old have the capacity to make yeah. that decision for themselves yeah. Yeah. or to 100%. see through this person who is an authority figure in their lives who has somehow manipulated their minds to convince them that this is the right thing or this right. is the best thing or whatever. And and that statement um, about not not allowing that to be criminalized and not recognizing uh, the parents the need to protect children. Yeah. The need to protect children. And and then you look at that statement within the context of what's happening across our country and the world where our kids are being sexualized in like kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, shown these picture books that I've seen myself that are more sexually graphic than anything I've ever seen in my life that are targeted for middle school kids. Yeah. Then you you match that with this policy statement coming from the UN and you see the danger here of the normalization of sexualizing our kids, of the normalization of minor attracted people, of, of people in positions of authority, and there are leaked videos showing this, saying, hey, these minor attracted people should be allowed to serve as teachers in our schools, where they're, they're in a position to, I mean, they are supposed to protect our kids in that position, and yet these minor, self-identified minor attracted people are in a position where they can very easily abuse that trust that parents place in them and, and act on their sick desire are there any uh, examples of s minor identified people identifying themselves as minor attracted people um teaching kids yes i mean there are, i've seen tiktok videos of these people there was there was a, a leaked um like hidden someone took with their iphone video of like a i don't know if it was a a school meeting or a teacher meeting or whatever of someone from the school saying, Hey, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be discriminating against someone because they're a minor attracted person. What? That's you know, that is what? Yeah. So someone who was working for the school, like in some sort of a capacity to make decisions was, was justifying that was justifying having someone who is, is a legitimate pedophile. Yeah. On staff. And that's, you know, of course, they'll never use that that's, term. That's so crazy that that term is so, like they did changing the terms changes what it is. And, and but then, that's the that's the power of language, though. Yeah, that's uh, bananas. That uh, is that is so insane that they would go with that. Because I remember that was going on a few years ago and people rejected it. Yeah. Like someone yeah. had t made the term minor attracted persons and everybody I blew mean, up left and right. And now it's sort of like it's OK. Yeah. Right. And that's why they call it a, spe a spelling, right? Casting a spell. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of is in this case. Yeah. Um, did you find out what no, you actually posted? But I, I can see taking the right away from the parents. I mean, just being parents ourselves, right? Taking the right away from parents and it. Yeah. It, that, taking that, the right that's away from parents That's fucked. the whole here's, thing. Here's what I that's said. That's the whole okay. thing. In a taxpayer-funded campaign to push quote-unquote woke ideology onto the world, the UN is advocating for the decriminalization of adults having sex with children regardless of the child's age so long as the child quote-unquote consents. At the very least, American taxpayers should not be underwriting the UN until it stops all promotion of pedophilia and sex trafficking. 
Mm. And it, I posted a screenshot of an article from the Washington Free Beacon that says, headline, UN says minors can consent to sex, which is essentially the statement that you read. And then it quotes, sexual conduct involving persons below the domestically prescribed minimum age of consent to sex may be consensual if, in fact, if not in law, the UN says. Well, that way, if they said it that way, that's, that sounds to me like an adult having sex with someone who's under 18 and that they can consent to that. That sounds what they, like what that says. Now, why would anybody, with all the problems in the world, if you're really worried about climate change, you're really worried about Russia taking over Ukraine, you're really, why are you so concerned with young kids being able to consent to sex? Right. That seems insane. And, and here's, what the, here's what one the of the... The whole agenda, this the, last... But it's like, are thing. you just trying to destroy people's faith in life? I mean, if I really wanted to go full tinfoil hat... You know, Yuri Bezmenov, like, conspiracy from 1984, where yeah. he was describing how the, the breakdown of America and uh, the, the demoral, demoralization, the breakdown of democracy the was engineered by, by Russia. I mean, that's how you would demoralize people. Yeah. That's, that's a great way to do it. I mean, it's, a, it's sneaky, but it's a great way to do it. And beatings will continue yeah. until morale improves. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. Right? Yeah. Always.